Uh, use my card. This area looks really different. Which means we're gonna get fucked over. Yep. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Yeah, yeah, it's the end of the road for him! Agree. How dare you kill my friends? Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> the Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. What the fuck? Am I hallucinating? He just launched out a raven thing out of his forehead. I can't move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. <laughs> but there is another event that I excel at. It is called the ear pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. Yeah, he says with a giant minigun. What the fuck, really? He has a minigun! Well, I've got body armor at least. Doesn't mean I'm gonna take him on directly, but... Oh, shit! He shoots down the Nikita missiles! But they distract him! Interesting! Oh boy, there was a Nikita missile over there! I guess you should check it out! I don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna play C4 and make sure to fucking avoid the areas that I place them. Uh. Boop. Let me just turn on my thermal goggles here. So now I can see where the hell I put my own claymores. Dude, is he just gonna walk back and forth here? Jeez. All right. Come on out. That means I need to play C4 on top of this path. I'm ready. I just gotta wait for him to go around the corner. And boom! Shit. Nice shifting areas.
Oh, what? I blew him up! There was a fucking C4 there! Come on, big boy! Boom! Oh, that's what happened! The C4 that blew up wasn't the one that he ended up walking on because of- because of reasons. Got you. <laughs> See, I was just like really fucking confused because I'm like, uh, I blew C4, why didn't- why didn't it work? Let's go ahead, get my good old trusty Nikita out. Boom! <laughs> Ow! Shit! He's kind of moving, like, really fast, and it's intimidating. Because I don't know where he's fucking going, because he's so far away. Oh boy. He's coming this way! I hope. Come on, you can finish the journey! Boom! <laughs> do 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 Nikita <laughs> Whoops Uh he's moving pretty quick I don't know where he's gonna plan on going, but... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Ha-ha! He went a different way, thank God. Because I was cut off there. Note to self, don't get myself caught in an area anymore. No oh, shit. Nope. Come on, big boy! Why do you keep on following me, huh? <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be a true warrior, Raven! It's not working out for you, is it? Hey, you're supposed to keep on following me. Go left. Boom! Oh, damn. Wrong way. Oh no, I fucked up my Nikita. So I don't have any more C4, but I do have grenades if I ever want to use those. I also have grenades! Fire the hole! Oh yeah, that worked! Oh, I fucked his shit up. You barely even got a hit off, Raven. Good game. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. Really? In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Oh no, he's gonna get eaten by his own ravens. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. 
I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. Huh? What is it? Oh, him. Okay. That was not the Darpa chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. Oh, shit. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Yeah, now the ravens have to eat me. In the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. Uh. There's always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. Did they eat the bones, too? I guess so, jeez. Ka. Snake. It's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. Say what? What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Ah, uh, nothing. What? Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's kind of a nuke about to go off. That's pretty important to deal with. Okay. So, I figured that the corpse of the DARPA chief was like, like that was the real DARPA chief, but he was being used as a puppet by Psycho Mantis. So that's kind of what I, I figured was happening earlier. 
But no, as it turns out, he was one of the six members of Foxhound. And he took in the blood, which there was something wrong with the Darpa Chief blood, which killed Octopus. And that's- and that's how come there was no blood in the guy's body, things like that. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Um... But okay, alright. That's... Huh. What the fuck is going on? Right? Someone- something inside of the- inside the DARPA chief and the president... Killed them. I need to co contact Otacon. I don't know anything about Dr. Naomi, so there's not much I can say. But Snake, I think you'd better leave that to Colonel Campbell. Don't you think you'd better just get to the control room? Yeah, I just don't know which door it is. I mean, this is a level 7 door, so I think it's this one. Boom, level 7. So now I can get into other level 7 areas, if I want to backtrack a really far away. What, really? That's a lot of fucking turrets. I could just blast them with my stinger missile, but I'd rather not. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh tits. That's a lot more sentries! I didn't think that was gonna be an area ending thing. Alright, well, might as well go this way since I already used my chaff grenade. Uh, I'm saving. Naomi wasn't acting strangely or anything? No, I just can't believe that Naomi's an enemy spy. I refuse to accept that. I don't want to believe it either, but... Don't say it, Snake. I don't know, something is pretty fishy about what's going on. I mean, even if she's not a spy and she's not a fake Naomi hunter, shit's going on and secrets are being held back by everybody and it's really pissing me off. Fucking Campbell. <gasps> there it is! Metal Gear! Rex! Whew! That is huge. Holy shit. Um, wow. It looks like they finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. You know, I'm probably gonna have to, like, backtrack and access level 7 security rooms for those fucking keys. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that. But let's see what we can do in here f for now. Oh boy, is it... kind of, like, crouching, or does it just legitimately have, like, four legs? Ooh, hello. Okay... Can't go into that room. I'm just gonna walk it around because I have no idea what's about to happen. I'm a little scared, actually. What? Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. That's a first for everything. Let's call Master. Your sea rations are frozen? 
Never eat frozen sea rats. It'll cause a temperature imbalance that'll drain your strength. Make sure you warm those seas before you eat them. What? My sea rations are frozen. What? How'd that happen? How'd this happen? Is it because of the last room? No! I have five of these! Shit. I am totally screwed. How the hell do I melt these? Snake, I'm sure that woman calling herself Naomi is some type of spy. And now I'm starting to think that Campbell might be hiding something too. Don't trust him. <laughs> Jeez. Natasha, can you maybe help me out with my rations? You found body armor. It will lower the damage you take from gunfire. Oh, now she tells me about the body armor. To prevent bullets from penetrating, but you will still feel the impact from the bullets. Don't rely on it too much. No one's gonna tell me how to freeze these. You know what? Fuck it. We'll worry about it later. <laughs> Maybe I have to go back to the furnace room, right? Yeah. That room's kind of like super hot. Let's climb on top of Metal Gear. Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Well, all right. Let me, uh, okay. Melt before you eat. I don't know how to fucking melt. Like, do I, do I take it to the blast furnace? Do I just keep on holding it and eventually it'll thaw out? Because obviously it froze because of the battle that we were just doing. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. So let me just look around real quick because we kind of climbed up and then we immediately went onto the... Oh, look, see? There, it unfroze. Good. I'm not going to get completely screwed over. Alright, we'll try out this side. I have no idea where I'm going, so... I can only hope that I accidentally go the right way. As always, right? Hey! Shit, there's actually a guard! Is he gonna go all the way around? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going on top of the Metal Gear because there's no way you can see me from there, right? Of course, I can't see him from here either. Shit. I was planning on getting on Metal Gear to snipe him, but that's not gonna work out. Alright, he's walking away. Good. I'm gonna snipe him. Or, I guess, rather, I'm going to stare at this location until he starts heading towards me. Hmm. Because, you see, this entire walkway is a walkway with... ...noisy fucking floors, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Ah, well. Oh, shit, he's coming. Let's hope I can take him out... ...like this! Oh, that worked. Oh, all right. That was a waste of a diazepam. <laughs> I, I figured I'd have to, like, get a headshot on him or something, or that would take multiple hits. Nope, just one shot. Eh, what? Snake. Did you find it? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet. But I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Well, all right. He's just gonna keep on contacting me, being like, Ah, oh, I found out something new! It's like, all right. Let's get a good look at you, Rex. How you doing? You're actually really intimidating. Holy hell, and I'm assuming that's your railgun. <laughs> He's cool. Okay, Rex. If it wasn't the fact that you were going to be shooting nukes at people, uh... I totally condone the making of you. 